goes on. I'm just going to, uh, like the fear of my butter from our city code. We're just going to um, go over what we did today, just real, real quick here. Um, the first thing we talked about was, scoot this way a bit. First thing we talked about was getting good position with the butterfly guard. My arm and shoulder going to be under his arm here. I have belt control. Going to be pulling with my elbow, my right elbow. My head is going to be on, on him, not looking down because your head can get, you know, kind of trapped underneath. But here, kind of looking toward him. What I'm looking to do is just catch his arm, pull it toward me. I'm pulling with my right elbow, and then I'm going to fall to my side this way, and then I'm pulling him toward me, and I just push over for the the butterfly guard sweep or hook sweep. So here, make sure, you know, in general, you want to sweep toward the side of your head. Okay, so I could be over or I could be under. When I'm under here, I'm going to pull it into my ribs. I'm pulling with my right elbow. My head's tight. My right foot is hooking hard here. I pull him toward me. I'm going to start to push off with my left leg. Sweep. Take them out. Next, he uh, he's going to attempt to come in and crowd my hips like this. Okay, so I'd rather not be here. So what I'm going to do is before this would be like a early transition. Just as as he's coming in, as he's coming in here, I'm not going to be like this. <laughs> so. As he's coming in to gain control, I'm just going to put my foot on his hip here. Now we'll prevent him from making forward progress. Okay, so then from here he'll have to adjust or, you know, I can start to adjust or whatever. But just using this position, I can then back up or, you know, reestablish my, my uh, butterfly guard. So I'm in here, he goes to, to crowd me. I just, I'm just looking to get my grips. Establish control. His head's low, so I'm tempted to kind of snap him down, but you get the idea. You're just creating a little space here. Next, it's going to be, uh, let's go back this way just a little bit. Next, he's going to get a little further into the position. So his head comes under. I'm going to catch both his elbows right at the elbow, and I pinch his elbows together. I keep my hook in, then I'm going to fall to my side. I lift with my right foot under his leg. I'm lifting, and then I drive over, coming to mount again. So, so here, I'm in here. He gets under my arms. I, I catch both his elbows. I trap his elbows, and then I'm going to use my right hook, which is still hooking his leg. I fall to my side, lift, come over. I'm in the mount. And next, if uh, if when I'm in here in the butterfly guard and I notice he drops his head, so I'm in here like this, I'm just gonna shoot my arm under his under his chin. This part of my wrist, the end of my forearm bone, is gonna go right under his neck, and I'm gonna get a C grip and put my elbow over his back. I prefer doing it this way because it doesn't take much flexibility, but there's all different types of grips that you could use. Okay, but it's just a high elbow guillotine variation. So here, I'm not going real deep, I'm just getting my wrist under, I get my C grip, my arm comes over, and then here I've got the choke. Or, I'm here, I got the choke. Let's say he tries to pass. The way they'll try to pass usually is going to be going to his left. I'm just going to keep it. And he'll still choke even though he passed my guard to the proper side. Next, just a little bit. So the, the grip, this part is under his chin. See grip, this comes over. That way it just takes your fingers and a little wrist flexibility. No, no shoulder flexibility at all. Okay. Next, I get here. I'm going to use my hook to sweep him. 
Um, maybe I don't feel like I quite have it right. Maybe I just want to come up on top just in case I lose it. I'm going to sweep. And then here, I'm going to start to put my hips down and I start to pull my arm into his neck. So I just keep the position. Here, I feed, I want to get, this arm has to come over his shoulder before this arm comes, see if he, if I go here and he puts his arm over here, it's gonna, I can't do it now. It's gonna mess up my position. So right away, you get your elbow over his shoulder, just gonna sweep. I keep my position here. My hips come down and start to pull your arm into his neck. Okay, just a little bit more here. So I get the position, get my C grip, high elbow, I turn him over, but in the transition, I kind of lose the guillotine. So from here, his head is still in my armpit. If his head comes out, you know, I change things, I'm still in the mount. But um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take and just refeed my wrist under his neck. Okay, then I can come up and I still have the, the guillotine. So because I still had his head trapped, I can just bring this back, go right into the position. Then finally, like this, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start, it's hard to talk when I'm down. I'm gonna start sliding this knee up under his armpit. And then this arm is gonna be looking for his arm like this. Now I'm going to be able to go into a arm bar or triangle kind of position here. So here, as I slide, my leg, my left leg is coming over and then I can either sit back. See, I have an overhook arm bar. I can sit back this way, here. I can put the leg over or, you know, I could go into a triangle from here but I have his arm trapped right at my hip. My elbow's tight, so I can just kind of push. That'll be the arm bar. And like I said, this way is fine. Okay. So that's just a few things we went over.